forget about flybys. Remember when on Memorial Day, Coney Island would have actual air shows by the Blue Angels? The Coney Island invented Blue Angel air shows. I would know I produced the last Blue Angels air show in Coney Island in 1998. Okay, let's put the toys away, boys and girls. And it's time to have a talk. Hello again. I'm Dick Ziggin, founder, artistic director of nonprofit arts organization, Coney Island, USA. This is my sixth weekly state of Coney Island address, but don't confuse me with a real politician. I'm a spokesman. I'm a spokesman for amusements and for culture. Nevertheless, giving some good advice, I hope, and keeping you, the constituents, informed. I know people are afraid and sick, and I also know people are heroes and brave. For real advice, please trust our own Dr. Fauci from Bensonhurst, go Brooklyn. This is my big holiday weekend update. We are filming this speech Saturday, May 23rd, for release on Sunday, May 24th at noon. It's Memorial Day weekend. Hip, hip, hooray! You and I are both celebrating Memorial Day weekend. Yay! Hey, the official start of summer. Yay! Did you eat hot dogs for breakfast? That's too bad, I had a bagel with a schmear. You wanna know what I usually do Memorial Day weekend and the start of each Coney Island season? Let's ride on the cyclone, hands up! Woo, first drop, cyclone! Hands up, cyclone! I'm also this weekend, today, Tomorrow, Monday, supposed to be one of the guests, one of the speakers at the landmark Wonder Wheels 100th birthday party. Happy birthday, dear Wonder Wheel. Happy birthday, dear Wonder Wheel. Happy birthday, dear Wonder Wheel. Happy birthday to you, the Wonder Wheel. And 40 years in Coney Island, I've only ridden the swinging cars. I've never been on one of the stationary cars. I hope you enjoy them. However, as you know, when you hear this speech, this holiday weekend, there's no party. There's no rides. You can't ride the Wonder Wheel. You can't even ride this. Cyclone! Put your hands up! First drop, Cyclone! You can't do that. I know you want to break out. You want your freedom. What can be done? What can you do? Not as good, but first of all, I want to remind you our Put On a Funny Face Mask Contest, sponsored by yours truly, Coney Island, USA, presented by Spectrum News, New York One, online, that's coneyisland.com slash mask. The deadline is May 25th. You're running out of time. What happens May 25th? Public voting begins. You get to weigh in on the best contest. You get to vote. I'm not running for anything. I'm not a real politician. But let's get to the question submitted this week. A real politician, our local politician, Alec Brooke Krasny, our former member 
of the New York State Assembly called me up at home. Alec Brooke Krasny, who I do like and have worked with in the past. Dobre dien, Gospodin Brooke Krasny. Kak vi poživajte? Ja ne ponimaju poruski. Ja ne znaju. Do svidanja. Alec Brooke Krasny was acquitted of fraud charges following a highly publicized trial, and he's mapping out his political comeback. The former politician confirmed that he is taking a serious look at running for city council representing Coney Island next year, and after a trial that lasted two months, on July 25th, 2019, Alec Brooke Krasny was found not guilty of five felony charges of conspiracy, health care fraud, and scheming to defraud the state. A mistrial was declared on the other three misdemeanor commercial bribery charges. So Alex is in the clear. He's thinking about running for city council. Alec Brooke Krasny called me up. He really did not to talk politics at all because I'm not a real politician. I'm an expert on the arts. What did he call me about? I put up a Facebook post last week of this incredible painting. And no, your first guess, it's not by Reginald Marsh. Alec Brooke Krasny saw my post on Facebook of this photograph, and my post said, don't do this this weekend. Alec loved the painting, loved the post. He called me up to ask, who is the artist? Alec Brooke Krasny, Gospodin. Paul Cadmus is the artist, who not only painted this incredible picture of Coney Island, but his other subjects include, and I kid you not, floozies and sailors, Paul Cadmus. And by the way, Alec, one of your potential rivals for next year's city council race, uh, community activist Stephen Patzer actually knocked on the door of my house during the pandemic, here is a photograph from uh, Paul's website, uh, Stephen's website, uh, where he's visiting potential voters. And um, frankly, Stephen gave me a bag of candy. Dos um, I could never be a real politician, ladies and gentlemen, to begin with too many details oh, and definitely too many names to remember. Alec Brooke Krasny is running, Stephen Patcher is running, Joe Packer, I hope you ask me a question. Is it true that Dominic Recchi is running? I hope so, I like Dominic, but I'm not a real politician. So let's get back to the Paul Cadmus painting and my post, don't do this this weekend. I know you want to come here and ride the cyclone. Cyclone, put your hands up. No, we're talking about the Paul Cadmus painting. Don't do this this weekend, my title. Um, to be honest, let's deal with the facts. Coney Island is New York City's parks and recreation zone for amusing the millions. It really is. You want more proof? Let's look at more art of Ouija's famous photo. Ouija, the famous photographer. Can you believe this? This is July 5th, 1942. Look at that crowd. Oh my God. If that were to happen right now, I'm not in favor of it. Oh my God. Look at those people. How many people? And you know why they're here? Why that crowd is so big? They were there for an air show. So we're not going to do air shows. Um, why? Because 
big crowds are scary right now, so we're not going to do the mermaid parade right now. We're not going to do the hot dog eating contest in the street right now. The rides aren't even right now. Did you know that Ouija is an art photographer, and aside from the famous photo, let's look the other direction that same day, July 5th, 1942, looking toward the west end of Coney Island and the parachute jump. Add these people to that other photo. Can we put both photos up? I'm, I'm not the tech guy, but the tech guy's not in. Yeah, thank you, Ed. He's going to put both of Look at that crowd. Oh, my God. So what do we do in Coney Island? Well, I'm happy to report um, that the mayor did, the real mayor, not with a sash, the real elected mayor gave a shout out to Coney Island. He said out of all New York City's beaches, and there is a beach in Orchard Beach, there is a beach in Queens, the Rockaways, there are beaches on Staten Island, there's Manhattan Beach even on this island that's not called the Coney Island Beach. There's lots of beaches. The real mayor said, the Coney Island Beach is his favorite beach, and things are happening. The city did finish up the street work on Surf Avenue and um, Stillwell Avenue and eliminated a lot of potential congestion. Uh, the city did um, ask the contractor working on the end of Stillwell Avenue, at the end of West 12th Street, at the end of West 15th Street, to create more room, uh, pull back their construction fen fences and allow uh, more people to socially distance as they walk up the ramps to the boardwalk. That is done. Um, Thank you, Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams, who is proposing that licensed bars like our own Freak Bar, but other bars in Coney Island, other bars in Brooklyn, New York City, be allowed to serve their customers outside and have sidewalk cafes and waive fees. Um, thank you, elected representatives. Uh, Eric Adams, Mayor de Blasio, and Council Member Traeger, and Councilwoman uh, Frontis, and State Senator Savino. Um, attention is being paid to Coney Island and trying to get it right. So it is Memorial Day weekend. We want to go on the cyclone, cyclone, first drop, but we put the toys away. Um, so let's review what you can do here. Most of your favorite restaurants are indeed open for takeout. Lots of your favorite foods are available on the boardwalk, on Surf Avenue, Donna Zita, on the Bowery, Margarita Island. They are open today. Sunday, they are open Monday. They will be open for takeout. Now that's weird because there's no place to sit down. They're not allowed to have seating or outdoor benches. So some of you will grab benches on the boardwalk, but that's a capacity and social distancing issue. I ask you to be careful where you eat the delicious food of Coney Island and please be careful not to litter because uh, most of our businesses are closed. Our trade association, the Alliance for Coney Island, is not doing supplemental garbage cleanup because the businesses here don't have any money. Um, and not only the businesses, but also be respectful to the residents of Coney Island on the West and the people who actually reside here. Um, next topic, when you decide to come here, you are allowed to wade up to your ankles in the ocean. You are allowed to get a suntan on the beach. You can't go swimming, but you can lie on the beach, but you want a social distance and maybe it gets crowded. Draw a box 
a social distance box around your blanket and your beach chairs and your cooler, or get some of those plastic pennant flags and like design a whole barrier wall of your own to protect yourself. Um, speaking of not being able to go swimming yet, um, obviously we need lifeguards. Uh, the mayor is listening. He is beginning to suggest later in the summer, it's logical we will need um, NYPD summer detail of some kind. We will need lifeguards as soon as possible. Uh, but you have to give them time. They're working on it. So before that time, um, you can be here, but don't be stupid. Don't blow it for Brooklyn. Don't blow it for New York. This weekend is a test of our maturity. Can you be mature, Brooklyn? Uh, finally, you can come here. You can lie on the beach. We covered that. You can go to restaurants. We covered that. You probably know you have to be very careful getting here. Your transportation, the subways are still questionable. Be careful. When you get here, you're coming here for fresh air, for great food, um, to relax yourself, but all the rides are closed. The sideshow is closed. The aquarium is closed. There are no baseball games. There are no concerts at the amphitheater. You cannot sit down inside the bars and restaurants. Our museum is not open. so. Adjust your expectations. Uh, don't needlessly wander around looking for something to do and not finding something to do except trouble. Um, don't blow it, okay, Brooklyn? Uh, reminders, if you want to specifically help out Coney Island USA, go to our website. You could still until May 25th. Uh, enter ConeyIsland.com slash mass, the mass contest. I also uh, encourage you to shop at our online gift shop. Um, that helps out the mission of Coney Island USA, which is a legitimate charity tax deductible. Um, so help us out if you can. Health reminders, do wear a mask, do keep six feet apart. Don't touch your face. Sword swallowers don't share swords. Blockheads don't share hammers and nails. Save the cool boomers. Encourage the intelligent millennials. Bro be Brooklyn smart. Don't be stupid. Wish you were here. Wish I could ride the cyclone hands in the air. Yeah. Um, why am I talking about the cyclone? It's the Wonder Wheels weekend. Happy birthday, Wonder Wheel! Um, send me questions um, via uh, Twitter, via Facebook. Um, ConeyIsland.com slash state is how you can listen to my other speeches. And uh, we'll talk someday. Who's